What's up everybody, Jason from Jason's Exotic Reptiles back at you with another video. This week's video topic is looking at bows that were just born. And this is a really exciting litter for me because I have the father right here and I don't like possible heads, but sometimes you fall into them. This was one animal that I fell into. I saw him, I saw him and I just fell in love. He is a Paraglow Key West that was 66% het blood. So I put him to a visual blood boa and I don't want to ruin the surprise, but I think you know we're going there, is that this blood boa proved or this possible het proved to be het blood. Before we dive into the litter, I want to talk a little bit about what a paraglow paradigm is. A paradigm, or in this case a paraglow, let's start with a paradigm. A paradigm is a 100% het sharp and a 100% boa woman caramel or BWC. When you add hypo to it, it's called a paraglow. And the unique thing about these double hets is they work together to make a visually different animal. So this animal is a 100% het blood, 100% het boa woman caramel that is also just happens to have Key West in it, which is a whole different thing. Doesn't We don't need to talk about that at this point, but it makes a T-positive looking animal, this really kind of pretty bright looking animal. Now this is not one of the best paraglows I've ever seen, but for sure he's a nice looking paraglow. Paradigm is just kind of brought down a little bit on the saturation level, or I should say on this kind of this glow level. So the paradigms look a little bit like a glowing, uh, normalish looking animal. Definitely something unique and different about them. The paraglows bring it up a notch to that next level, and that Key West just adds in some really cool additional features. So with all that said, let's flip the camera, take a look at the babies we got and the mom who just finished laying. Here we have the tag that are, or my little label that I told you I do in my breeder series. So if you check out that video, you'll see that I'm doing exactly what I say in that video. And you know, don't pay too much attention to every note on here, but generally what we're looking at is that the ovulation date was somewhere around 1110, 1112, and today is 314. So let's take a look at mom and her babies. So there is mom, she is a visual hypo blood. And these are the pile of babies. We haven't disturbed her yet. We haven't disturbed her babies yet, but you can see some really pretty babies in the mix. This one right here, I know everybody's gonna say, let me buy it. That's not gonna happen. I'm probably gonna keep that animal just based on how pretty it is. But you can see those blackish eyes, those solid eyes, that is the blood trait. One thing I will say, and a lot of people get confused about the Paraglow Paradigm stuff, is that Paradigm works like a Hypo Motley. So Paraglow works like a Hypo Motley, but with Hypo in it. So we'll talk about Paradigm. So all of these babies are either 100% het for Sharp Albino or 100% het for Bow Woman Caramel. And a lot of people see that as a disadvantage. I see that as a great advantage because when you actually go and you breed these guys, let's say you're gonna breed this to a Sharp Albino, you will make either sharp albinos or you will make paradigms, which I think is a really cool way to increase variety of your litter and increase your odds. Now, if you bred this to a bow woman caramel, you're gonna get visual bow woman caramels and paradigms as well, So, or, or combinations of. So I'm gonna have to do a whole dedicated video just based on what paradigm, paraglow, and all the other stuff is. But for now, let's zoom this camera out and let's pull some of these babies. These are the babies all cleaned off. I haven't counted them all yet, but she did a really good job. Only two slugs, a lot of different blood bows, a lot of variety in here. Uh, so for instance, like this guy right here is likely a hypo blood Key West. Uh, interestingly, I got some aneries, which you can see this, this pewter tail. So that's a pewter and anery blood. 
Really cool looking, and I think that's the only anathristic animal that I got in here. There could be some pewters, for instance, these could be hypopewters, or uh, I guess what they call them, plasma maybe, I'd, I'd have to double check. But uh, really cool variety of bloods. This one is just uh, awesome looking. And I am going to say that that is almost guaranteed a Key West, maybe super hypo blood, just by how different it looks from the, from the whole batch. And this is really your time to do your morph identification. Is uh, The colors haven't come in completely yet, but when you have everything together and you have these kind of combos, so for instance, this one here is, is likely a Key West or a hypo Key West, uh, but when you... You know, I have to still take a good look at these. I literally just washed them off. But this is when it's your best opportunity to do that morph identification now. And then you can confirm after they shed out. When you put them all together, that's usually what I do is I'll just get an idea of what these babies look like. Maybe I'll take some pictures of the whole litter. This video serves as similar to that. Look at how cool that anery is. That's a really cool looking animal. I don't know if she's going to survive. She has a pretty big umbilical cord hanging. But that may shed off and she may turn out to be fine. So we'll see how she develops over the next couple months, or I should say the next couple weeks and as she sheds. And we will see how this, these Key Wests turn out. Some just I'm very happy with this litter. I was kind of saying, when it's going to be a bummer if the uh, het blood doesn't prove out, but clearly he proved out, and that made me very happy to see this morning. It uh, makes a big difference in the litter if I'm making 100% het bloods or if I'm making bloods and 100% het bloods especially since they're all uh, paradigm, or excuse me, uh, parahet, which means that they could be either 100% het sharp albino or 100% het bow woman caramel. I think the combination of hets would have made for a much different litter in terms of what I was going to be making. The anatheristic does certainly throw me off because I was not expecting that. So either that's a... Uh, that's either a, uh, I can't think of the word for it right now, Jurassic Park type of thing. Begins with the P. I don't know why I can't. Parthogenic baby. So either that's a parthogenic baby or uh, it, they are truly head anery. And I have to take another look at some of these darker ones. As I said, they could be plasmas and they're, they're, that's definitely a pewter in there. So we'll see what they look like. Overall, very healthy litter. This is a, a pretty good example of a Key West, I think. Uh, likely a hypo Key West or maybe just a, a normal Key West. So I am not extremely up to date on Key West myself, so I'm going to struggle a little bit with identifying these morphs. If you know how to ID Key Wests, if you know, I'm not asking if you can guess or if you've Googled how, if you know for sure, there are sure tell ways of identifying Key Wests. I know things like the mustache and some of the patterning, specifically in combination animals. Let me know, because I never want to sell something for what it's not, uh, but at the same time, I do want to know for my own reference. So if you know how to do that, drop a comment. I'd be happy to uh, learn myself as I don't work a lot with Key West. I just somewhat, this was an added trade of something I fell into. One last thing I wanted to show is, I don't know if you caught what I was trying to show on the video when I was pulling the babies, but these are twins, or they were twins. They don't look like they're going to make it. I will leave them alone because babies like this surprise me. Sometimes if you leave them alone in a tub like this, they just uh, were not ready to come out yet. So they may actually be alive, just not 100% ready to start moving around. So I'll leave them alone in a tub like this. They may... They may or may not survive. They may just kind of surprise me and turn themselves around, or they may remain like this and uh, not move. So I'll just somewhat keep an eye on them. Again, they, they may just wake up in a couple hours, and all of a sudden they're living babies, tongue flicking, and have zero problems. But I thought that was cool, is I thought there were a couple twins in this litter, and, and I did forget to turn the camera off when, excuse me, I did forget to turn the camera on when I first started these, uh, started pulling and I realized it, but there was another set of potential twins in there. They look like they were in the same embryo. This one is a guaranteed set of twins because they were attached by the same umbilical cord. So we'll see if they make it. So that is it for this week's video. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you liked this video, please drop a comment, hit that like button, and subscribe with the bell notification. If you want some breeding advice or just want to join a community, check out that Patreon community chat. Link is in the description below. Until next video, let's keep it moving. Thanks, guys.